Hello, this is Gary Fox of Create and Make, where the same old stuff just ain't good enough. Hello, it's Gary Fox, and uh, we are doing a new video here. Uh, I have not figured out what I'm going to call this. Maybe fun with CAD. <laughs> uh, because it's just kind of a hodgepodge of a couple of different things. Pretty much taught you all everything that I know. The only thing I guess we need to deal with is blocks. But uh, what I decided to do, uh, I'm going to show you on my blog. Uh, I'm working with uh, popsicle sticks, which I guess I really should call craft sticks. But uh, they're the same kind of sticks that are stuck in the middle of popsicles. And we're going to try to build a crane out of them. And I haven't figured out yet how much of a popsicle purist I'm going to be on that. But the idea is to uh, work with something so that uh, people that really don't have the space and the time and the money to mess with something big and play with something and we can all learn something out of it. Uh, so one of the things that I was going to do for people was that I uh, was going to create a... Uh, CAD file that has a typical popsicle stick in it so that uh, they can then cut and paste and kind of pre-design before they start building and gluing. Although you don't have a lot of money in popsicle sticks if you're, uh, you design something and you break it because that's actually part of the purpose of design it is to break it. Um, so that will explain on the YouTube channel why you see videos uh, that include a bridge that uh, is made out of popsicle sticks and then also a crane, several crane videos because I'm sorting out, uh, we're going to try to build a popsicle crane and I'm not exactly sure where that's going. Anyhow, I created this and I used the American Dimensions. Um, English, I guess, is the correct way to say it, although English has went away from that also. Now everybody's metric except the United States. So I drew this popsicle stick out, and then uh, I thought, well, let's, you know, by half my audience is metric, so let's go ahead and draw another set that's in metric. So uh, I'm going to show you basically what happened. Uh, we'll do a file save as. And I'll call it PS-M. Uh, save, it, save it with a new name. That way I can modify it. And then I went up here. I was going to change the units into metric. And I figured there's two possibilities of what could happen. One other possibility is nothing. And the other possibility is that, hey, it might rescale everything. Because it might draw it in a, a generic... Uh, generic units and then dimension it only in, Eng in English and then when it changed the units to metric it might just change everything for me so nothing to do it uh, to lose except just try so I changed the current drawing preferences units I went from inches to metric to millimeter and I'm going to change it to decimals and when I do, guess what? All the numbers change to decimals, but the values did not change. Uh, so it did the third possibility, and that was that it uh, halfway did things, but it didn't the other half. So what I'm going to have to do is scale this drawing uh, four and a half inches according to the uh, craft stick uh, cover says that that's 114 millimeters. When I expand this thing up to 114, obviously I'm going to have to change all of the uh, dimension arrows and all that because uh, they're going to be tiny in comparison to that dimension. So, uh, just to let you know, <laughs> uh, it's kind of smart, but it's not completely smart. And that's the way that you find things out when you do uh, with a, working with a program. The other thing I'm going to show tonight 
is uh, we're going to exit this one. So we'll exit this drawing. And uh, yeah, we can close without saving because that's garbage anyhow. Okay, I am working right now. As I said, we're going to be doing a popsicle crane. And I was coming up with some concepts and some understanding. And it looks as if I've erased the line by accident. Uh, I was curious, number one, if the uh, rope goes down the middle of the of the uh, boom frame, is that a different problem than if the rope runs off the edge of the boom frame? Uh, and uh, the old cranes worked the way it's shown in the black line, and the new cranes worked the way it's shown in the uh, green line right there. Um, I was just kind of curious about that, so it's going to be something that I'll be talking about in my uh, blog post, and uh, this is a really handy little thing with CAD, in that what you can do is you can turn off uh, different layers, and then uh, talk about the layers that you're interested in at a particular point. So let's see, we've got... Uh, I'm not real sure. I forgot what these layers are. But anyhow, I can turn on certain layers. So like I've got just the boom hoist, the boom frame right now going. If I want to look at the uh, center hoist diagram, which there's where I've lost my uh, one line. I've misplaced it. I've erased it by accident. Uh, that would show the rope with the uh, hoist going right down the middle. If I want to do it with the hoist just going at the top, I can look at it that way. And then what these other things do is represent the forces. Which ones are running transverse to the boom and which ones are running uh, perpendicular to the boom. Uh, and I should have said parallel to the boom, not transverse. Uh, but anyhow, this is a really good way to do things. And... Uh, you can turn things off and on, so you can think of a lot of pictures if you're creating diagrams. Let's say you're creating a PowerPoint, you can take a uh, photograph, a screenshot of each of these, and then a screenshot with different views of the same thing. Meanwhile, you've just got one drawing that you've worked with, and uh, this makes it a whole lot easier to turn different things off and on and see what's happening while you're, uh, while you're working on it. So uh, that's an idea, something that might be of help to you, uh, and uh, that's the main reason that I wanted to show that to you tonight. Appreciate you listening. Hopefully you got something out of this. Thank you. Gary Fox.